Okay, in this video, we will talk about Shannon Fano algorithm. So it's introduction. This algorithm is named after Claude Shannon on the left and also Robert M. Fano on the right. So this algorithm is entropy coding technique used for lossless data compression. Lossless it means when you compress, you don't lose any data, original data. So when you convert back or uncompress the data, same. So basically, this algorithm assigns shorter codes. Yeah, the codes here is binary number, two symbols or character in this example that occurs more frequently, like character A, U, and longer codes to those that occur less frequently, like X, Q. So basically, uh, a top-down approach. Yeah, you will use a binary tree later on. You will see it in the examples. The step. First, short the symbols according to the frequency or probabilities of their occurrence from the most frequent until the less. Okay. And recursively divide the symbols into two parts, each with approximately the same number of counts until all parts contain only one symbol. I'll give you examples. The sample using Bina Nusantara. If you look, how many B over there? One. How many I? Also one. N, how many N? Three or A's. So if you create a table, it looks like this. Yeah, we also count space over here because you need space to separate Bina with Nusantara. Yeah, then you already have the step one. <coughs> step two, you need to divide. So if you count this all, is 14, 14 character in Binano Center in calling space. If you divide by two, it's seven. You, so you separate A with N with the rest of other characters. So then you create a binary tree like this. Yeah. So total character is 14. You separate N and A over here, seven, because it's N is three, A is four, yeah, is seven. The rest also seven. B I U S T R and space. Yeah. Then the seven you divide it again. Yeah, because only contain two character. When you divide by two, of course, one is A, one is N. Yeah. Four, three. That's it. Because uh, this also only contain one character. So yeah, stop there. This one is still contain seven characters. So you need to divide by two again. Seven divided by two yes, is four with three. Which one that you put on the left, which one that you put on the right, it doesn't matter because all is one. Okay. Uh, in the sample, I put uh, B-I-U-S on the left, T-R space on the right. Again, this four, because it's still four character, you need to divide by two. Yeah. Uh, then again, you need to divide by two until you get only one character yeah, in its node. So this one is already uh, done if you get all nodes only contain one characters. So after you get this binary, uh, in the left branch, put number zero in every left branch, branches, and put one in every right branches. Okay, uh, Because binary, the branches, every node only have two, yeah? two branches okay. then you if after you put it all then you can get the code for that characters in this examples a will get the code is zero zero binary number and get the code zero one b over here b one zero 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 the code space one 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 how about t one one zero zero so uh, if you put differently it doesn't matter yeah uh, i mean you put i first before b is okay yeah uh, b still got four uh, binary number i still also four binary numbers so same yeah so 
is okay. So if we put in the tables, you will get like this. Yeah. This is the symbols, the count, yeah, 14 total characters or symbols. This is the code. Yeah. Like I said before, B is 1000 is 4 bits. I is 4 bits. N is 2 bits. A also 2 bits. U, S, T, R, 4 bits. And space is 3 bits. So now we want to count how many percentage that we compress this uh, sentence okay, using Shannon Fano algorithm. So we can do this. We need to count how many bits that. Okay? Because B using four bits and also only the frequently frequent only once. Yeah. So you multiply four times one, same like I. Four times one and three times multiply by two bits so you get six and so on right so total you will get 41 bits 41 bits yeah this 14 characters this 41 bits so a bit different so how to count it to know how many percentage okay so usually uh, it symbol require one byte or eight bits so if 14 symbols is mean yeah 14 bytes or in bits is you need multiply by 8 you got 112 bits so the percent of the compression you just uh, use these numbers 112 minus 41 you divide by 112 and you multiply 100% and then you get 63.2 39%. So you compress Bina Nusantara with those codes, yeah, you get 63% compression. Okay. So later on, when they want to read there, they need to convert back. Yeah. But with that code, it's easy to understand. Yeah. So, but we have a different cut. Yeah. Uh, in the previous, we cut A and N. How about we bit separate like this? N with B I U S. Yeah. A with T R space. You got seven seven. Yeah. Then you get this kind of tree. The tree is different, right? So previously, N with A stop there, but here. On the left, yeah, uh, it's going down until here. On the right, also going down until here. So you get this uh, code. Can we, when you count, still 41. So the result is it in these examples. Okay, I give you another examples that not uh, is a bit different. Okay. So this example is a bit different because I don't give you a sentence, but I just give you. Uh, six symbols a b c d e f with frequency already 10 28 15 40 5 and 2 4 5 then you need to sort right from the highest frequent so you get d in the first b c a e and f so if you count this is 100 when you divide by 2 is 50 but this number is you cannot get 50 it's too yeah, the choices is 40 with 60 or 68 with 32. Which one is closer to 50? It's 40. Yeah, 68 is uh, it's not that close as 40 to 50. Okay, So you divide like this. So then you get create the binary tree. So you get create binary tree like this. Because you div separate D and the rest on the right side. Yeah, so you get... On the left side, there are only one node, D. Then on the right side, yeah, you need to divide by two until you get only one character per node, yeah, like this one. So if you create a tables for the code, you will get like this. Again, this are uh, 100 characters. Then when you count here, you get 216 bits. Again, yeah, using bits because this code in bit. Now, uh, binary number 
So D only one binary number that's zero. Yeah. So because count is 40, yeah, you multiply 40 by one bit. This B is 28, yeah, when you multiply two with 28, you get 56. So total is 216. So how many compression? Same like the first examples, you will get 73% yeah, using the same uh, formula. Yeah. So the percent of compression, how many percent that uh, the file is compressed, the difference between before and after divide by before and multiply by 100% then you get percentage. So. How about if I use 68 then? Like this. Okay. Again, it's not closer to 50. I will I will show you why uh, it's better not to use 68. Yeah. So when you create a tree, you will get three like this. Okay. 68, 32. Okay. B and D on the left, the rest on the right. But when you create a table, then you calculate, you don't get 214 uh, like previously, yet, but you get 224. More. More bits than previously. So, yeah, it's better using the previous because, yeah, again, 40 is closer to 50 rather than 68 to 50, right? So, I hope uh, you understand this. So, if you want to try it, you can use this exercise yeah a bit long uh, if you look at the t is different to uppercase and lowercase so it's different characters yeah so you can use this try using binary tree using same method short first calculate first then short and then create binary t create the code and then calculate what percentage of the compression basically like that Okay, that's it.